pretty good control of the game coming in out of the second half, or sorry, out of the first half. Just kind of what went wrong there in the fourth quarter in particular, um, 10 of 33. Well, they're going to keep playing. You know, uh, this team has been scoring a lot of points uh, really all season long. And as I mentioned before the game, you know, they play hard. They're going to play hard for 48 minutes. Uh, they're going to keep coming at you uh, for 48 minutes. And, uh, you know, things that we needed to do uh, was not help them out. And we uh, we helped them out by, uh, you know, the turnovers that we had, 18 turnovers uh, in this game. You can't, can't do that. And then they outworked us uh, on the offensive glass uh, with 14. I think maybe they had. I don't know how many they had in the second half, uh, but it was a big number of offensive rebounds. So you can't give them second opportunities uh, as we did. Offensively, you were getting good looks. Um, was it just combinations of one of those nights, or were they doing something a little differently that just can adjust to? No, well, we, I thought we did have some some good looks and uh, did knock down uh, some shots, but uh, you just can't have. 18 turnovers against a team like this. Uh, they convert that. Uh, you know, they, the way they play, uh, got five guys out on the floor that can handle the ball, uh, can shoot the ball, can pass the ball. Uh, so they convert turnovers. They turn those into points. And, um, yeah, you make a mistake like that, uh, it's going to cost you. And, you know, then they hit, you know, a couple of, uh, uh, you know, threes at the, at the clock at the end of the clock that were, uh, you know, daggers, uh, some of those uh, possessions. Uh, Coach, throughout time with these different times, what was your message to the guys tonight? Uh, you'll be hitting the road pretty soon, uh, a couple big matchups coming up against the Knicks and against the Nets. Uh, so what was the message to the guys about keeping focus and moving forward? Yeah, well, we, did, we wasn't looking ahead. Uh, we knew that this was going to be a tough challenge, uh, the, their style of play. Uh, their ball movement, uh, you know, Shea did a good job of attacking and, and um, uh, you know, at the end uh, we put them, we sent them to the free throw line. Uh, but we knew this was going to be a tough challenge. Uh, you, you can't look over this team. Um, they've been uh, playing well and in a lot of games uh, all season long. Uh, but we had to do the things that we talked about, our, our keys, keep them in front of us. I thought that they were able to uh, break down our defense early uh, in the game and it was able to force the, the defense to collapse and they had their kickouts. You know, so they established the tempo that they wanted to play and uh, you know, w with that and our help uh, in the turnovers and uh, our working us on the, on the glass, uh, it's going to be tough to beat them. What did you see from Bogey in his second game as he gets his legs under? Obviously, it was hot early in the game. You know, um, he's still. It's going to take you know some more than two games to to get his legs, and uh, you know uh, we we saw what he can do when he has fresh legs, and uh, I thought he started to have a little heavy legs uh, in the second half. A couple of his shots were short, but uh, that will come. Any final question? Okay, thank you, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.